Welcome back. Today we're going to be discussing our top picks from Rab's heavyweight insulation range. Before we jump into the individual jackets, let's just have a chat about what heavyweight insulated jackets are for. Heavyweight insulated jackets are for the coldest temperatures possible, where you need the maximum amount of protection and warmth. They're also ideal for hobbies and sports where you're not moving a lot. So if you're be laying at the bottom of a crag in very cold conditions and you're not doing a lot of movement or building up a lot of body heat, these are perfect for that situation. So without further ado, let's jump into our first jacket. Next up, we have the Neutrino Pro, a jacket designed for 4,000 meter peaks and favored by mountaineers for the last 20 years. The Neutrino Pro uses a 100% recycled 20 denier Pertex Quantum Pro to give you a really high level of protection from wind and rain. On the inside, we see a 20 denier, but slightly softer face fabric to give you a slightly nicer experience if the jacket is against the skin. We're seeing an 800 fill power goose down on the inside of the jacket, which is coated in a knit white solution to help it maintain its loft when damp. And across the shoulders, we're seeing a ripstop nylon, which is slightly more durable than the face fabric on the main body to give us more longevity on those hardware areas. As we move to the front of the jacket, we're met with a YKK Vizlon zip, which is a two-way zipper, allowing us to poke our belay device at the bottom or use it for ventilation. And we're met with two hand pockets as well. The two external pockets are hand warmer pockets. They're fleece lined to make sure your hands are nice and toasty if you're out on the hill. On the inside of the jacket, we've also got a nice concealed lapel pocket for those important items. We've got pre-articulated sleeves to give us a good range of movement. And at the bottom of those, we have a combination of elastic and Velcro cuff. We can adjust the cuff to fit ourselves as well as we can using the Velcro and then use the elastication will make sure we get a nice snug fit so that we don't lose any of that warm air we've created. Moving up, we've got a fully helmet compatible hood with a wired peak. This is adjusted by two internal toggles, one on either side. They're internal because they don't want you to whip you in the face, but we also don't want any snag hazards. And then on the back of the hood, we've got a Velcro body reducer as well. So that if you're not wearing a helmet, you can make sure this fits your head perfectly. On the inside of the chin guard, we've got a nice fleece inner to give you a little bit of additional comfort and warmth around your mouth. And then as we make our way down to the bottom of the jacket, we're seeing two points of adjustment along the hem. We've got one on each side, which helps tighten the front and rear of the jacket independently so you can get a slightly different fit on each side. This jacket sits somewhere in between the three that we're gonna talk about today. It's got a good level of durability, but it's also nice and light weighing just 585 grams. Next up, we have the Axion Pro, a really capable down jacket from Rab, which is perfect for trekking and mountaineering and even a day at the crag. We see a 20 denier Pertex Quantum Pro fabric to give us a really good level of protection, along with a 20 denier internal fabric, which is much softer against the skin. We're seeing a 700 fill power down on the inside of this jacket, which is coated in a knit wax solution to help manage that moisture and make sure it still works when it gets damp. We've got a two-way YKK main zipper to allow you to poke your belay device out and belay with the jacket still on, but it can also be used as a level of ventilation. Moving up, we have got a large Napoleon pocket, which gives us ample room for bits and bobs we want to keep easy access to. And then we've got two hand warmer pockets on the lower portion of the jacket as well. Moving up, we've got a really nice high collar. And if we open the jacket up, we can see that the entire collar is nicely lined with a fleece liner just to give you an added bit of comfort and protection. Moving on to the hood, we've got a nice wire peak brim on the jacket to give us a bit of extra protection. And then we've got a fully helmet compatible and adjustable hood. All the adjustments on this hood are external because it's not quite so designed for climbing. So there's issues with snag risks and things aren't quite as big handled by these two toggles just here, and the adjustment points are tucked away just under here for you. At the back of the hood, we've also got a volume adjuster, so that if you're not wearing a helmet, you can make it fit your head. What's really nice about this jacket is you actually have the option to remove this entirely. I've unzipped it already, but there is a zip to this as well, as well as these two Velcro parts, and you can entirely remove the hood, giving you a slightly different jacket, so if there's no need for that hood, or you prefer to wear a hat that day, this gives you the option to wear this without the hood. The Axiom Pro also represents a really good option for people that are looking for a dog walking on a round town jacket. You've got all the warmth and all the features you know and love about Rab with a nice durable outer. So the other jackets we're looking at today, although they're nice and durable and they're good for a purpose, they're probably not quite so good for regular use in a city or woodland environment. So this jacket gives you a few features that are maybe a little bit more in tune with day-to-day -day use. So having a removable hood, a fleece lined collar, your hand warmer pockets, and a slightly more durable outer as well. Moving down, we are met with a Velcro cuff, so we can get a really good adjustment on there, and then that's backed up with a bit of elastic in it as well, so we get the perfect fit. So even if we do this up a little bit tight, it will mean it's not too tight once the elastic's stretched out, and if we don't do it quite tight enough, the elastic will help draw that in and stop any warm air leaving the jacket that way. Moving down to the bottom of the jacket, we're met by a rear hem adjustment, so we've got 
two points of adjustment. We've got one on this side, which helps draw this side of the jacket in, both front and back. And then the same on this side, which obviously does the other side independently. This jacket is by no means trying to be the lightest jacket in the field, but it is trying to give you lots of different features and lots of comfort. So we're talking about that nice fleece liner all the way around your head rather than just against your chin, your hand warmer pockets and the option to remove your hood as well. That brings the jacket in at 768 grams and compared to the other two, a slightly larger pack size as well. And finally, the Mythic Ultra, the ideal jacket for anyone looking for the ultimate amount of warmth with the smallest pack size and the lightest weight. With the Mythic Ultra, we see a 10 denier Pertex Quantum Outer, which is gonna shrug off any wind or light rain and give you a little bit more protection. We've got a 10 denier fabric to make sure this jacket is still light. On the inside, we're seeing another 10 denier fabric, which is a little bit softer and nicer against the skin. Below that, we see a 900 fill power European goose down with a knit wax coating to help shrug off any moisture that might get into the jacket. Around the torso area of the jacket, we're met with Rab's tilt system, which in its simplest form is a reflective fabric, which is stitched into the jacket to help bounce heat back to the body. They've put this around the middle of the jacket to help maintain a good core temperature. On the front of the jacket, we're met with a YKK Vizlon zipper, which is a two-way zipper, so you can poke your BLA device out and ventilate yourself if needed. And then we're met with a lapel pocket, which is big enough to fit a few items inside. And then we've got two lower pockets as well, which aren't hand walking pockets. All of this is to aid in weight saving. Moving back up to the top, we're met with a fully helmet compatible hood with a wired brim. All of the adjustments are internal on this jacket to stop them becoming snag hazards or hitting you in the face in high winds. But we don't see a fully reducer Velcro part on the back. Instead, that's replaced with elastic, again, to help reduce that weight. Inside the jacket where we find the adjustment points, we also find a nice fleece liner to help give you a bit of protection and warmth around your face. Also adding to the comfort of the jacket. Moving down, we've got pre-articulated sleeves and we've got a stitch through baffle construction, both on the sleeves and on the hood to help aid in mobility and also help shed some more weight. We come down to their quantum sleeves, which come down a little bit lower on the top of the hand and are fully elasticated. Again, to reduce weight, but also to reduce faff as well. So you can basically slide your hand straight into this and it will fit you perfectly. And it also aids in getting on and off gloves. Moving down to the base of the jacket, we've got two points of adjustment on the hem of the jacket located near the front. These are super small and internal, again, to avoid any snag hazards. And by adjusting each one on each side, you adjust that side of the jacket. As I've been saying throughout this video, the real aim of the Mythic is to give you the ultimate amount of warmth for the smallest pack size and the lowest weight. This weighs just 537 grams, which is exceptionally light for such a warm jacket. With that low weight, we do sacrifice a level of durability and that 10 denier fabric isn't going to take as quite as much abuse as some of the other ones we've looked at today. So which jacket is the right one for you? Well, it depends on what you want to use it for and where you're going to use it as well. If you're looking for a jacket that's ideal for going around town, maybe a few days down at your local crag or a few winter walks, then looking at the Axion Pro is a really good option. If you're looking to have a jacket which can do all of those things, but there's a chance you might be packing it up and using it on a multi-day trek in cold conditions, then you're going to be leaning more towards the Neutrino Pro. And if weight and pack size are at the top of your priority list, but you're still looking for a very warm jacket, then you can't skip on the Mythic Ultra. So that was a quick look at our top picks from the Rab Heavyweight range. If you've got any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comment section below. And like always, we'd really appreciate it if you liked and subscribed. We'll catch you next time.